Hi, my name is Charles Cresson, and welcome to my garden, Hedgley Spring. It's been in my family for three generations, and I'm standing in front of the flower garden, which is perhaps the best known part, which was created just about 100 years ago. reason I had to come because this bed um, a lot of a lot of coordination throughout the year goes into making this happen at this season bringing these elements together and the other things fall into place around this what's coordinated for this season so the roses only bloom once a year these the climbing roses. And these three climbing rose varieties are the ones that my grandfather bought when he created this garden. They were, they were the popular roses then. So it fits into the history of the whole thing. Well, it, we have climbing roses and foxgloves and the cerise pink flower which gives it a little bit of punch, is Mullen Pink, also called Lychnis Coronaria. But then we have Carl Bells, old-fashioned Carl Bells, and um, we've got this little rose in the front, which is a very old-fashioned rose called Pearl Door, and that blooms all summer. Nice disease-resistant bush rose. Uh, it's a smart weed. It's Persicaria orientale Shirogane Nishiki. The Shirogane Nishiki uh, describes this variegated one. So it comes up every year from seed. It seeds itself, and I leave a few. Um, mm. time. Oh.
So we have nice broccoli at the moment, maturing. We've got to pick that today. Look at that. And cauliflower. Nice! And this cauliflower really is getting to the point. There's going to be another crop of zucchinis coming. varieties of rose here. This is Celine Forestier from 1842. My grandfather did not plant this rose, I planted this. Yeah, this is, uh, I've been growing that pineapple for, this is growing from the, the top of a pineapple. From this.
Well, it's 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 southeast facing and it's climatically, you know, warmer than a lot of other areas. So I can grow a lot of things here that are not as hardy. Of course, the roses are hardy, but then there are a lot of tender things mixed into this area. And it's sunny in the morning, and um, the lavenders do really well here. But then there are so many other things that are marginal. Vulcan's Flame Rhododendron. Catchfly. Silene armeria. It's very easy to grow. It seeds itself prolifically. Well, thanks for having a virtual visit to my garden, and I hope you'll come back at another season.